Hi, welcome to Fusion Fitness Online. Casey and Jen, hi. <laughs> Today we're looking at um, plank, creative cueing, and we are really focusing today with plank on the skill set of keeping a very buoyant, easy shoulder blade, shoulder blades on the back of the rib cage. So we're going to start with a little sternum drop. So yeah. Casey's going to put her forearms on the box. We have a red and a blue here. Now, as part of our apprentice program in the Matt and the Reformer, you will see some podcasts about, we ha Casey made up this wonderful exercise that's called washing the back of the rib cage, um, which involves part of the sternum drop, uh, but a little bit more. So if you are part of the apprentice program, you're going to be seeing that washing the rib cage exercise, which is wonderful. Okay, so for today we're just going to do a simple sternum drop to oil those shoulder blades on the back of the rib cage. So on the inhale, her heart's going to melt towards the box and her shoulder blades come into the spine. And then on the exhale, she's going to root her forearms, elbows into the box to bring the shoulder blades apart, finding that neutral position where her shoulder blades just easily sit on the back of the rib cage and front back body is balanced. Again, the heart's going to expand, the shoulder blades slide in, and then on the next breath she's going to root her forearms, elbows, and finding that expansive balance on the front and back of the body. Let's do that one more time. And you can do this a few times with your clients just to get them to feel the movement of the scapula on the back of the rib cage, right? And you could do, let's do the extreme of both, Casey. So she's going to go down, right? Mm -hmm. And then come all the way up and she's going to over round, right? And that's okay for at first should, to show your clients how much their scapula can move. But what we're looking for here eventually is that she drops, right? Her shoulder blades come in and then she opens and finds that neutral position. Right? And this neutral position is what we want when she comes into plank. Right? We don't want the extremes. We want the Goldilocks just right position. So on her exhale here, she's going to gently lift her knees. She has to root into those forearms, elbows, and the carriage is going to slide out so she finds her plank position. Now, of course, on plank, we have to really have energized legs, that kind of hugging of the musculature, right? She's going into that deep seat belt and working very, very hard in her upper body. Now on her exhale, she's going to bend her knees and gently bring herself back in. Very good. So when she comes into plank, what we don't want to see are the shoulders riding up into the ears, right? We don't want to see this kyphosis of the, the upper back. You want to see when she lengthens the legs and pushes the carriage out, which is very difficult, <laughs> this same setup, the same length on the front back of the body, and that same neutral placement of the scapula. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you soon. Bye.